one of the great things about the trip is that they're not, they're not just reading about these things in a book completely out of context, but instead they're reading these things in the place in which they were written. They are, in some ways, 24-7 for these uh, few days, working, uh, uh, reading, studying, visiting all of these sites uh, together and reflecting upon them with the help of uh, faculty members who are experts in that area. It's very interesting because everyone got like a very, very, very different perspective. Like no two groups were the same. This is a perfect opportunity for the kids. Like in school, we learn a lot about like theoretical principles. We learn about um, like philosophy and literature, and we don't get to see it live. And I think that that kind of experience is very valuable for anyone, like regardless of where you come from, who you are. But I think that's how I see Yale and US students. They're the students who, who help us seek out some of this meaning uh, behind the things that, that define who we are. Um, and experiences that will, that will shape them for the years to come both in the college and beyond, I think is the, really the beautiful thing about this trip. I think it broadens minds and it gives a, a, a cultural exposure and it gives you exposure to subjects which you would have never seen before. Three parents are learning from them, from this project when I do the videos. Interesting. <laughs> I think that what they learned and what they took away and what they were exposed to is something you would not get in a classroom. It truly was a classroom without walls. And to be able to go out there and have questions that they have to answer and people they have to interview and people that they have to partner with to come up with brand new thoughts is education for the future.